Here's another really debilitating belief that we have that I want to tap on today. And that is that I really can't get what I want for whatever reason. Uh, uh, you know, you have kind of these the dreams of things that you want to have in your life. Then you get completely and totally bogged down in the process, all the action you're supposed to take in order to get it. What if it was just the vision itself that was driving the action and it really was as effortless as people say it is? What if we've just gotten in this habit of always looking for every step that we have to take rather than focusing on what, what we want? Because deep down inside, there's a kind of a sense of us that says, I can't really have it. It's not really possible for me. So let's, let's, go, let's go to work on, on that idea. So even though I'm convinced, or at least a part of me is convinced, that I really don't have what it takes to build my masterpiece of a life, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though it doesn't feel like I have what it takes, it seems so overwhelming. I think about everything that has to be done and my energy just poof, sags. I get excited on the vision and then it sags. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Totally. So even though it feels so heavy, so much has to be done, all the things I have to learn all the things that have to be, that I have to have, that I don't have, in order to have that dream. I'm opening myself to the possibility that all of that's nonsense. And that all of it will come. Because that's why I'm here. That's why I have the dream in the first place. Let's tap through the points. <sighs> Feels like I don't have what it takes. I look at my dream, I get a little excited, and then suddenly the devil speaks. How are you going to do that? Brr. And immediately my energy just hits the floor. So overwhelming. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I can make it happen. But I'm beginning to... To, to look at the possibility that maybe that's not my job. Maybe I don't have to know how. I mean, I don't know how electricity works, but I can sure turn on a light. I don't know how my car runs, but I can drive it anywhere I like. Maybe I don't have to know. What if I didn't have to know? What if all I had to do was hold on to my vision of my perfect life, embellish it, amplify it, let it so turn me on that all of my attention goes there? Maybe this law of attraction stuff is real. Maybe it does begin to gather new, new ideas and new opportunities. I mean, when I get up in the morning and I'm in a funk and I'm in a bad mood, everything looks shitty. Maybe if I consciously put myself into a good mood, nourished by this beautiful vision I have, nourished by the possibility it could be real, empowered by the idea that my energy is the creator, maybe that's all I have to do. Which means it doesn't matter where I'm enough or not. I'm not doing it. The universe is doing it. Source energy is doing it. God's doing it. I don't care who does it. <laughs> I just have this vision. This deep, juicy, passionate desire 
and I'm going to feed it and see what happens. I'm going to love my life just as it is and see if that love doesn't transform it. Take a deep breath. Something I've discovered in in inner work over the last, I don't know, probably six months um, is that a lot of the inner work can be avoided. (laughs) All of the traumas and stuff, all of this stuff can be relieved if there is a really active, vivid, juicy uh, goal or ambition, aspiration or dream you have for your life that is so captivating to you that it actually absorbs a lot of your attention. I have found that when that energy is present in the system, that inner work, the relieving of traumas and programmed responses and you know, self-sabotage and, and a low self-esteem, uh, they get released much more quickly because the system has got a direction to gravitate towards. There's a natural part of your energy system that when you are focused on something, and, it's, and, and it becomes clear that this focus is where it's headed, it begins to make adjustments to get there. It's a law. It's going to adjust things to be able to, to, be able to try to make that happen. And when it does that, it has a natural momentum that begins to move in that way. And then what happens is the inner resistances, the program responses, the habits that are holding on to the past become very prominent, very obvious at which point they become very easy to reconcile with, very easy to, to alter that energy from its defensive posture into, a, into the posture of creation because there's a leader happening. There's a direction it's going, and this clearly doesn't match this. And the, and the energy system will very naturally try to reconcile these two. If you're really good at holding this, it won't reconcile by pulling your vision back into the present reality, which is what happens most of the time because our grasp, grasp on the vision is very weak. But if it's strong, it will pull your inner world into alignment with it. And when you get that alignment, magic happens. So tap through that tap through that again. Really, just tap and in, indulge your vision. Indulge the possibilities that are available to you, and the fact that the reason you're here is to give life to those to those uh, desires, to give life to that vision. That's where you're here to make it concrete, and you're the only one that can do that. And you do it by owning it and feeding it and loving it and 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 spending and spending as much time with it as you possibly can. Okay, that's it for now. This is G.P. Wallace. Thank you. Namaste.